Why did the Boeing 787 get banned from some airports? Well, it was a strange reason. Let me explain. Airports don't usually ban aircraft without a reason. Sometimes a jet is too heavy for the runways or taxiways, which can cause damage to the pavement. Other times, aircraft get restricted because of engine noise levels, wake turbulence, or even their massive wingspans making them difficult to handle on the ground. And if an airport isn't equipped with the right fire services or emergency facilities, it can also block certain planes from operating there. That's exactly what happened with the Boeing 787. When it first entered service, some European airports refused to allow it to land with over 200 passengers on board. It wasn't because the aircraft was unsafe, but because airport authorities were unsure if their emergency response systems could handle a new type with so many people. Some regulators were also cautious about the 787's composite fuselage, since firefighting procedures for carbon fiber were different from aluminium aircraft. This meant fire crews needed extra training before the jet could be fully cleared. Until procedures were updated and airports were certified to handle the Dreamliner, the 787 faced temporary bans at certain destinations.